Amid Hurricane Matthew left behind in eastern Cuba. It made landfall in eastern Cuba overnight as a Category 3 storm. The powerful winds and heavy rainfall destroying dozens of homes and leaving several roads unpassable. The storm surged so strong it hurled a shipping container onto a street just blocks from the water's edge. Matthew is tracking toward the Bahamas now and is expected to hit somewhere near Nassau before moving on to Florida's Atlantic coast by tomorrow evening. Before it hit Cuba, Matthew slammed into Haiti, packing winds topping 100 miles an hour. The damage there so bad the U.S. is offering to let Haiti use its helicopters for search and rescue efforts as well as cleanup efforts. The United Nations is calling this the worst humanitarian crisis to hit Haiti since the 2010 earthquake, which killed thousands of people. Helping Haiti has become an international effort. Venezuela announcing plans to donate 20 tons of humanitarian aid. But those efforts have been delayed since a key bridge to Haiti's hardest hit area has been washed out. The full extent of the damage is not yet confirmed as phone communications have been completely cut off to parts of Haiti.